Uh, in using the behavior-based process, I noticed a significant difference in the way people entered the shop and reaching for their glasses and things like that, and also noticed a, a, a difference in how they carried themselves throughout the day. Uh, people were acting safer, they were, they were bending and lifting and uh, handling safer. Uh, they were moving around the machine shop completely and actually throughout several areas of the plant uh, much safer than when the initial program started. Um, I noticed during the observations that my observation scores were getting higher as I went. Uh, they went from the mid 80 percent range to the higher 90 percent range and uh, it, was, it was a definite move in the right direction and I do believe it, was a, it had some staying power that, that people were carrying this day-to-day uh, -day even without me you know, encouraging safety and doing the observations. The behavioral based process helped me personally. I was not the biggest safety person around you know I mean I did what I had to do I wore my safety glasses every you know here and there and my hearing protection whenever but when I noticed that it was a that it was a serious thing you know I took it upon myself to actually get involved with it and uh, and and see it through it's a it's a personal thing as well as a professional thing you know uh, when I go into a place uh, I, I, I look for safety things, you know, and, and when I go into shops and go into other businesses, I, I look to see how safe or unsafe that place is automatically. This, this behavioral-based process has actually enlightened me as far as safety is concerned. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't give it a second thought if it wasn't for this. And that's, that's honest. <laughs>